Hi everyone, this video is um, an instruction on how to get to the fuel pump on the Volvo XC90. So what happens is you're gonna have to remove the seats, rear seats and the third row seats. So I removed um, the first seat in the second row and I am now removing the third row seats. And so what um, needs to happen is um, you need to remove the side panels, all the side panels in the back, in the cargo area, remove everything and to gain access to the bolts. Once you do that, you will remove bolts from uh, down here, down there. In the back, remove this little um, strip that goes here. I also, what I did was I removed this strip that goes in the rear thing. I disconnected the battery um, and lifted this whole um, rear seat as a one unit. Just lifted that, supported with some screw gun here. And these cables are routed over it, over the rear seat assembly, the third row seat assembly. So what you need to do is route them under before you can remove the rear seat assembly and now that this is done i am basically i've loosened up the third row seat assembly and i'm ready to just basically flip it sideways and pull it out so i can roll the carpet back and gain access to the fuel pump okay after removing the <clears throat> third row seats there is a little um, rolling back the carpets um, there is a hose a ventilation hose that looks like needs to be removed so what I did was simply lift this piece take this off pull this <coughs> roll this back pull this out like this and slide it out to the side and you're ready to roll back this carpet okay okay you can move this piece of carpet back which will um, expose down under the access to the fuel pump you can remove this i'm going to remove this little styrofoam insert that's here to uh, oops right, um, to get access to the fuel pump right in here and i'm gonna now uh, access the fuel pump and determine what's causing the fuel leakage that smelled outside of the car. Okay, after removing the excess cover, the smell immediately hit my nose. So, as you can see here, <coughs> there is just gasoline leaking out. All this liquid here see this dirt that has been cleaned off this is basically gasoline that leaked out of the tank through the seal between the tank and the fuel pump i'm guessing that's what it is and it's just uh causing all kinds of smells and uh it's just not safe this could cause fire so what i'm gonna do is um order a new seal hopefully they sell it separately and uh, leave the fuel pump alone since it uh, seems to be working okay now and I'm suspecting in future it will need to be replaced at some point so I'm gonna think about how I can make this job easier on myself in future and basically um, <clears throat> 
open up some kind of access area cut up the carpet and everything to make it easy next time I need to get in here so I don't have to remove the uh, third row seats and all this other garbage um, so there it is of course there is a second half of this which is hidden down further that way under that carpet that's the second half if you were to replace the fuel pump you'd have to open up that area as well because that's the level sensor you'd have to uh, gain access to there too and that means you'd have to remove the uh, passenger seat you know second row seats and so on but for now it's not necessary in my case all I need to do is get a new seal and uh, replace it so if you want to replace the fuel pump in the XC90 without taking the rear seats uh, which is a complicated process because you have to take off these screws all around um, and in order to get behind you're gonna have to take off these panels here the top panel the uh, the side panel um, and this entire this entire panel here uh, okay so take off this panel here just take them off with your hand take off a couple of screws here and there and uh, you have to do this on both sides so take off um, that upper panel this thing I mean this this panel here just pull it off with your hand then you'll get eggs you'll be able to take off the side panel anyway <clears throat> if you want to do it the easy way um, and not monkey around with uh, the rear seats or if you don't have rear seats uh, you can just roll this carpet back carpet back and uh, I don't think you have to take off the panels for that anyway what I did was I just made a cut in my carpet because most of the times the seats are down anyway the third row seats so I don't use them that often and I made a cut along here along here and along here and then I cut in the middle over here so once you put the carpet back it's not that visible anyway you can roll the carpet back and uh, gain access to the fuel uh, pump uh, access door which is right over here now the other half of the fuel uh, when you're replacing the fuel pump what you need to do is open up the access door on the driver's side which um, what I have done is again I cut the carpet along here um, along here and then uh, along here you pull the carpet back like this and uh, the carpet is actually split right underneath the seat so after you remove the um, second row seat you just roll you know pull this carpet back like this and uh, take off the styrofoam um, and uh, you'll, you'll see the you'll see the access door okay so this styrofoam comes out and there is the access to the um, second half of the fuel tank where uh, there is a secondary fuel level sender and the, and the little hose that that connect now um, in order uh, once you take this off there is a little um, ring that screws on top so what I have done is there there is a tool that you can get for like forty dollars what I have done is I took uh, I went to Home Depot and I purchased this uh, connection like this and I cut notches in it there is 18 notches so you just have to split it equally uh, and cut larger notches so you have a little wiggle room uh, and uh, you just slide this over the ring and you can see there is like a um, seat rest bar that that is in the way so what I have done is I actually made a 
made a cut like this so I could fit it underneath like that and uh, just put a little screwdriver across and uh, use uh, a crowbar as a lever to unscrew this um, it's on really tight so you have to fight with it a little bit but uh, uh, when you so that's the hard part I guess when you put it back you just make sure you use some uh, you know Vaseline and stuff like that in the threads to um, when you screw it back on it's not that as difficult as when it first comes out and uh, yeah so I'm ready to put everything back and uh, I've replaced my fuel pump already um, so I'm hoping uh, there will be no more issues with it I used to have a nasty gas leak the pump was malfunctioning and the gas was coming from the top of it so it was quite annoying to smell the gas and it would have failed eventually anyway so I just replaced it and uh, hoping uh, it worked out well so in a few days if there are no more problems I'm just gonna put the passenger seats back in and uh, call it a day all right um, thank you okay here's the old pump that I took out that needed to be replaced it was leaking right up here so it's fluid coming out of here anyway what I wanted to share with you was that um, this little piece that goes to the other half of the tank I couldn't get it out uh, I was having trouble pulling it out and the reason was because this piece was getting caught um, inside the tank somewhere so what I did finally was you can do this too you can just either flip this piece over like this so it kind of see how it eliminates this this little bump and this will help you get it out of the tank otherwise what you can do is just tape some type of you know filler here so it's nice and smooth so so when it's inside the tank and you're trying to pull it pull it out or stick it back in pull it in with a wire uh, it's not gonna get caught and uh, that's really that's really the one of the complications that I had but I was able to resolve it anyway uh, just remember when you're pulling this piece out when you first pull the pump out and you start pulling this make sure you tie a piece of something here a piece of chain or, or a piece of string and uh, to this before you pull it out of the tank because you're gonna use that string later it's gonna come out the other half other uh, the the hole where where the pump is so that when you stick the new fuel pump in you begin with putting this inside and then pulling it on the other on the other side with your string so this way this is all inside the tank it has to come out on the on the other hole on the hole on the driver's side uh, access door for the fuel pump that's where you're gonna attach this piece Anyway, one last piece of information. Thanks.